Magandang araw! Welcome back to LRTV! At ngayon magkakaroon muli tayo ng panibagong video tungkol sa Accomplishing Electronic IVCRF for School Year 2019-2020. Once again, please like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, LRTV. Good day to our dear co-teachers in TCCS. This is Diane Indy M. Tolentino. Together with Ma'am Lenny O. Reyes, we are the designated EIPCRF uploaders headed by Ma'am Led Ogot. We all know that at the year end of the school calendar, teachers are required to submit the individual performance and commitment review. Before we share with you the video tutorial on how to accomplish the EIPCRF, let us have first the important RPMS updates highlighting the roles of the rater and ratee in each phase of the RPMS cycle. This was presented by Ma'am Gina Dulce in the Division Online Forum on RPMS last July. To begin with, let us look back on the performance cycle of our IPCRF. So, ang performance cycle po natin shall cover performance for one whole year. All school-based personnel shall follow a performance cycle na nagsisimula in April of the current year and magtatapos in March of the following year. While non-school-based personnel shall follow a performance cycle na nagsisimula naman noong January at nagtatapos noong December. Nitong April 2020, nagbaba ang kagawaran ng DepEd Memo Number 45 Series 2020, which is Result-Based Performance Management System Guidelines for School Year 2019-2020, Year-End Activities in Light of COVID-19 Measures, na may probisyong In exceptional cases and only if the situation warrants a one-time recalibration of office and individual objectives shall be allowed during the media review. And exceptional cases shall include instances when high-level decisions are taken into effect such as changes in strategic directions and circumstances beyond the control of the rate such as natural anchor man-made calamities including typhoon, earthquake, and other fortitudinous event. Kaya nga naman po, ang memo na ito ang nagsasabi na ang year-end review for school year 2019-2020 ay temporarily postponed due to COVID-19 pandemic. Ano nga po ba ang nilalaman ng DepEd Memo No. 45 Series 2020? Maaari nyo po itong i-download to do further readings. Dito po sa DepEd No. 45 Series 2020, ipinakita ang calibration na magaganap sa ating IPCRF. Halimbawa, may tatlo lamang daw na COT ang isang teacher. Ano daw po ba dapat ang gagawin? Sinasabi po dito na dapat na i-average ang tatlong result ng COT. Meron din pong mga nagtatanong sa quality and efficiency. Dito na po papasok ang recalibration na isinasuggest ng DepEd Memo No. 45 Series 2020. Tandaan po natin na ang lahat ng changes sa RPMS natin ay may legal basis. Ito ay ang mga memorandum issuances. Noong June 15, 2020, nagbaba din ang DepEd ng DepEd Order No. 11 Series 2020 kung saan naman sinasabi sa Point J na lifted na po ang postponement ng pag-accomplish ng IPCRF. Kaya ito po ay maaari na nating simulan. Narito naman ang RPMS Cycle kung saan nakapaloob ang apat na phases na pagdaraanan ng mga raters and ratees. Una nga sa mga phases na ito ay ang performance planning and commitment. Sama, kailan nga ba nagaganap ang performance planning and commitment? Ito ay nagaganap 
tuwing last week or a week before the opening of classes. So, ito ay sa buwan ng Mayo. Ano nga ba ang inaasahang naganap na sa Phase 1? Ang activity na kailangang nagawa ay ang discussion of RPMS tools at ang pag-accomplish ng self-assessment. Ang tools o forms na kailangan ay ang IPCRF, ang self-assessment tool, at ang IPCRF Development Plans o IPCRF DP. At ang output na inaasahan naman mula sa mga guro ay ang signed IPCRF Development Plans based on SAT and signed IPCRF. Tingnan naman natin ang Phase 2. Ito ay ang Performance Monitoring and Coaching kung saan nangyayari ito ng buong taon. Sa Phase 2, nagkakaroon tayo ng Performance Monitoring and Coaching. Gayon din ang Media Review and Assessment. Ibig sabihin, kung may kaunting adjustment, we can do that. Dahil may continuous monitoring na nagaganap between the school head and the teacher. Ano nga ba ang mga forms na kailangan sa Phase 2? Ito ay ang RPMS Tools, IPCRF, SAT, IPCRF Development Plan using the Performance Monitoring and Coaching Form at ang Media Review Form. Inaasahan ng output na agreements based on performance monitoring and coaching form, media review form, updated IPCRF DP, and portfolio. Ngayon naman ay ang phase 3 o ang performance review and evaluation na nagaganap ng April 1st week or a week after graduation natin kung ano ang mga nagaganap sa Phase 3, which is Performance Review and Evaluation. Ano ba ang activities na kailangang magawa dito? Ito ay ang Year-End Review and Assessment, Evaluation of Portfolio, and Computation of Final Rating. Ano ang tool or form na kakailanganin? Ito ay ang RPMS Tools, IPCRF, SAT, IPCRF DP using the performance monitoring and coaching form. Ang output ay ang signed portfolio and IPCRF with computed final rating. Ang kahulihang phase ay ang phase 4, ang performance rewarding and development planning. Sa Phase 4, inaasahang magawa ang activity na Ways Forward Development Planning. Ano ang tool o form na kailangan? Ito ay ang IPCRFDP at ang inaasahang output ay ang Reward, Recognition at IPCRFDP. Dito ay i-recognize ang efforts depende sa Reward and Recognition mechanism na mayroon ang paaralan. Dito rin po ay atin ang i-encode ang ating IPCRF para sa electronic uploading. Hanggang dito na lamang po ang presentation na ito. Happy EIPCRF Encoding! God bless! Salamat po, Ma'am Hindi, sa inyong pagbabahagi ng important updates on RPMS. Ngayon naman po ay pag-aaralan natin kung paano mag-accomplish ng DepEd Prescribed EIPCRF 2019-2020. Susundan lang po natin itong Individual Performance Commitment and Review Form or IPCRF Data Collection System for SY 2019-2020 User Guide. Accomplishing the Electronic IPCRF Download the prescribed electronic IPCRF file from the link http colon slash slash dep.in slash IPCRF and code 2019-2020 or simply click the link. Okay, so ayan po, na-download na natin. So ito na po siya. Pabalikan na po natin muli yung ating guide. Important notes before using the IPCRF file. The IPCRF works best in MS Office 2010 or newer. 
So bago po gamitin ang IPCRF file, make sure lamang po na ang MS Office version na iyong gagamitin ay 2010, or, ang latest version na ibinigay sa atin ng Microsoft, yung ating License Office 365. Each teacher shall have one IPCRF collection file. The IPCRF may be produced into a number of copies after encoding in the following fields, in part 1 of the encoding tab. Region, Division, District Municipality, School ID, School Name, School Type, School Size and Curricular Classification. Edit the name of each file to include the name of the teacher, see Part B Step 9. Do not type in fields with drop-down button. Please take note po na dapat ang bawat teacher ay may kanya-kanyang IPCRF file. Please pay attention po dito sa highlighted text. Ibig sabihin, bago ibigay kay teacher, ang kanyang file ay may encoded data na ang part na ito. Don't forget din po to rename the file before I send kay teacher. Isa pa pong paalala, kapag may nakita kang drop-down button, huwag pong mag-type in. Click lamang ito para makita sa drop-down list ang data. Before po tayo mag-proceed sa encoding, let's study first. This simplified flowchart of IPCRF data accomplishment. Makikita po natin sa right side, si Rater, and on this side naman po ay si Rati. Ano po ba ang gawain ni Rater? Downloads the IPCRF e-tool. Encodes Rati's data. Encodes part 1 of the IPCRF e-tool. Yun pong COT and QET ratings ni Rati. Usually po ang ating mga Rater ay ang mga master teachers. After ma-encode ni Rater ang part 1. Essay send na po niya ang file kay Rati. Ano naman po ang gagawin ni Rati after niya ma-receive ang file? Encodes part 2 and 4 of the IPCRF e-tool. Pagkatapos po mag-encode ni Rati ang part 2 and 4, ano ang next niya na gagawin? Essay send niya ang file kay school designated uploaders, headed by the school head. Ang task naman po nila, uploads file to submission system. Sa bawat school naman po ay may tatlong designated IPCRF uploaders. Una po dyan ay ang school head or principal, school RPMS focal person, school ICT coordinator, in our school po, si Ma'am Led, Ma'am Indy, at Ma'am Lenny. Click as proceed, opening the IPCRF data collection file, personal involved, rater, para po sa ating mga rater, sa pag-open po ng IPCRF file. Merong dos and don'ts. Sa pag-open po ng file, kailangan gumamit ng laptops, tablets, desktop PCs, with operating system, Windows or Mac OS X, kung medyo yayamanin. At ang Microsoft Excel version po na gagamitin, is from 2010, 2013, 2016, 2019, or yun atin pong License Office 365. At para naman po sa don'ts. Mobile or smartphones, tablets, Chromebook, Windows RT. Dahil kung ito po ang gagamitin natin, ay maaring hindi po gumane ang file. Start na po tayo. Sa step 1, extract the IPCRF file from the zip folder. And save it on the desktop. Note, do not double-click the zip folder to open it. Right-click, and then, extract folder to desktop. Click OK. Balikan po natin ang ating e-download. So, sabi po sa guide, do not double click. Extract po natin. Sa desktop, select folder po. Desktop then extract. Ayan, nasa desktop na po ang file. Number 2. Double click on the DepEd prescribed IPCRF. Parts 1 to 4. SY 2019-2020. File 2 open it. Let's go back to desktop and double click the file. Balikan po, ulit natin, ang guide. Letter B na po tayo, accomplishing and submitting, the IPCRF data, collection file. Personal involved, Rater. 4 steps 1 to 4. I see Rater po, ang mag. Our complete. At sa steps 5 to 9. Naman po ay si teacher, Rati. Step 1. Open the IPCRF file, and enable macros. Click, enable editing, and enable content. Note that the process of enabling macros may differ in different versions of MS Excel. Balikan po natin ang ating file, sabi po sa guide. Click, Enable Editing. Ito po ang IPCRF rating, encoding form. 4 teacher, 1, 2, 3. 
Ispet 1-2-4, sila po ang mga proficient teachers. Step 2, in the encoding tab, accomplish part 1, starting with the fields, for teacher, division, and school information. Read the instruction, carefully. Enter, the needed information, by either typing it in the empty cells. Or by clicking the drop-down, arrow, and selecting the demographic information. Applicable to you, it is recommended. To start with the division, and school information. First read most data, column. The date of review, if not yet, determined, may be left unfilled for the meantime. Gaya po ng sinabi sa guy, una pong pila pa ng right part ng template or region. Okay, then division po. Napin lang po sa drop down. Option, then district municipality. O wala po siyang drop down. Kaya natin, kailangan po natin i-type. Ganun din po sa school ID. And school name. Okay, sa school type po. Then school size. Curricular classification. Okay. So, once na mapilapan po natin yan, pilapan na po natin ito. So, ang name format po, sa name of employee ay all caps. Una po ang last name, first name, and then ang middle initial. And then sa position po, hindi po tayo sa drop down option. Employee number, employment status, age, hanapin nyo po kung saan bracket kayo kabilang, then ang sex po, level taught, elementary, grade level taught, okay, kung anong grade po kayo natuturo. And then, subject thought po. For example po, Filipino. Okay, para naman po sa name of paper. And then, lang po natin ang format. And then, hanapin po natin ang position niya. Okay, date of review. So, sample pa lamang po ito. Okay, number of years in the change. And then, ka na nagtuturo. And then, highest degree obtained. Bachelor's degree, master's degree, doctorate degree. Okay, so for example po, bachelor's degree. Pundakin mo po dito. Okay, okay so example po, highest degree obtained, bachelor's degree. Pero ikaw po ay meron ng... MA units. So, ilagay lamang po. Sample po. And then, area of specialization. Okay po. Step 3. Continue accomplishing part 1. Appropriate to your position. In the encoding tab, encode the COT rating. For observation period, by doing the following steps. Select the subject, or the discipline related, to your subject for COT. Input the COT rating per objective. Encode date of observation. Click lock COT button once finished. Provide a single password for COT 1 to 4 to protect your data. Note, if in case there are less than 4 COT ratings sheets available, leave the entire COT columns unfilled. No need to lock the COT columns. Okay, so for COT 1 po, so sabi po dyan, select the subject to per COT 1. Okay, so kung ano pong subject ang inobserve sa'yo. Uh, let's say Pilipino po. Okay, so pasinin po natin itong rating column. Naging white na po siya, so pwede na po tayo mag-enter ng data. Okay, so rating must be a whole number from 3 to 7. Okay, so example lang po. Huwag po kayong kahiyang mangarap. Okay po. Okay, so pansinin po natin itong sa objective 1. Ang rating niya po ay 7. 
And then, nagmatic na po yung 5-point rating scale ng RPMS. So, yung ina po natin, kailangan tumingin sa table. Okay? So, sa date observed. Type in the date when the rating was observed. So, yun po yung format. So, here po muna. Month. And then, yung day. Okay. So, after po niya. So, after po natin ma-encode ang date observed, kalak na po natin si COT1. Okay. So, nag-pop up pong, may nag-pop up pong message. Reader's password. The reader must enter a password. Minimum 6 characters. So, mag-enter po si reader. Okay po. So, confirm password. And then, go na po. Okay, so nakalak na po yung ating COT1. Okay, so sa COT2 po tayo. Okay, so for example po. Okay, so pasok lang po tayo ng ito. Ito. Sample lang po. Okay. And then, date observe po ulit. Pasok po ulit natin. So, here po ulit. Okay po. Then, lock po ulit. Pasok po ulit ang password. Then, go. So, next po ay ang ating CO3. Okay. So, ang itong subject ulit. And observe. Then, grade po ulit. Okay. So, date observe po ulit. Okay. So, lock po natin. Password. And then, go. Okay. So, sabi po dun sa memo. May binaba dahil po sa pandemic ngayon. Ah, karamihan po sa atin ay walang COT4. So, huwag na po natin siya gagalawin. Hingirin po natin siya. Ilala. Okay. Dito po sa efficiency. Okay. Rating must be 1 to 5. Whole number po ulit. Okay. po tayo dyan. Okay, so after po, ma-encode ang lahat ng COT rating at malak ito. So, tignan po natin. Automatic po yung kanya score. So, automatic po ang computation. So, ito po yung final rating. 4.786 at ang object objectable rating po ay outstanding. Joke-joke lang po yan, ho. Okay, so dito na po tayo sa approving authority. Ito po yung ating principal. Okay po. Pahala lang po yung format. All tabs po. Then, natin po natin yung position nyo. Okay. So, basahin po natin itong note. When COT and QET ratings are encoded, click finalize part 1. Give the file copy to the teacher concerned the teacher shall accomplish parts 2 and 4. Okay, so, click na po natin yung finalize part 1. So, meron po ulit message. You have not completed the CO four COT ratings. You only lock 3 COT ratings so far. Are you sure you want to continue finalizing part 1? Yes po, kasi karamihan naman po talaga sa atin ay walang COT 4. Okay po? Yes. And then, enter po yung password. Go. So, ayan na po. Nag-iba na po siya ng color. Your data has been saved. Okay, so, ibig sabihin po niyan, lock na po yung part 1. So, ibibigay na po ito kay VT para sagutan niyo po yung part 2, yung core behavioral competencies.
Okay, so balikan po natin ang ating user guide. Okay, so let's say meron po tayong maling encode na data sa ITCRF. So kagaya po nito, ang date of serve, 2020-0620. So paano po ang gagawin natin? So pwede po natin siyang i-unlock. So ipasok lang po ulit ang password. Go. And then ayan po. Pwede na po natin siyang i-edit. Okay, so po siya 2019. And then, lock na po ulit. Okay po. So, ayan po. Okay, so para po sa part 2, basahin po natin ang instructions. Part 2 shall be accomplished by the rate after the rater accomplishes part 1. Please tick the box of the competency indicators that you demonstrated during the performance cycle. The results of your assessment can be found in part 2 sheet. Okay, so tick lang po natin yung box. Okay, sample-sample lang po yan. Okay po. Po. After po yan, so basahin po natin itong note. Click Finalize Part 2 to save your data. You can now proceed to the preparation of the Part 4, Development Plan, based on the result of Part 1 and Part 2 of the IPCRF. Okay, so i-finalize po natin. So, yun po, may ano, message box po ulit. Rates Password. The Rates must enter a password minimum of 6 character. Okay, so this time naman po, mag enter naman po ng password ay C80. Okay. Sample lang po. Okay. And then click go. Ayan. Finalize na po rin siya. Your data has been saved. Okay. Para po sa step 7, update your development plan in the part 4 sheet. This sheet is not protected for any editing. You may add rows if necessary. Click finalize part 4 if done. Supply the same password as one used to finalize part 2 of the encoding tab. Click go then OK. So, balikan po natin ang ating ITCRF. Okay, so part 4 development plans. Okay, so sa letter A po. Functional competency. So, sa palagay niyo po, nakukulangan pa kayo sa space. So, pwede po tayo mag-add ng or mag-insert ng row. Just right click po, insert row. Click niya lang po yung entire row. So, kaninin po sa core behavioral competency. So, right click, insert rows. Okay, so, kagaya po kanina, mat na po ang name rate, rater, and ng approving authority. So, basahin po natin itong note. When all parts of the IPCRF are accomplished, the rate must submit the file copy of his or her IPCRF electronic form to the department head or school head for the school-wide consolidation. He or she must print all the pages of this form and submit to the personal division of the school to be attached to his or her to one personal file. Okay po. So, finalize po na po natin ang part 4. Enter lang po ang password ni Rinti. Click go. Part 4 has been lock and finalize. So, click OK po. So, step 8 na po tayo. So, print parts 1 to 4. Click print parts 1 to 4. The teacher must ensure that his or her computer is connected to the printer using the file and print option in MS Excel. He or she must print all the pages of this form, complete all the required signature, and submit to the personal division of the school to be attached to his or her 201 personal file. Okay po? Okay po. Click lang po itong print parts 1 to 4. Kung connected ka po sa yung printer. 
At para po sa ating last step, step 9, submit the soft copy of the IPCRF electronic form to your reader or school head for the school-wide consolidation. Use the following format in naming the file. Deped prescribed IPCRF parts 1 to 4, SY 2019-2020 level teachers surname comma first name okay so ganito po yung magiging file name nya okay po so balikan na po natin ang ating IPCRF okay, try po natin ito so save us lang po natin sya so gusto ko po sya i-save sa desktop so palitan ko lang po yung file name so pagyan lang po natin ang level dash lm dash last name comma first name and then click po natin yung save so ayan na po ayan na po yung file name niya so pwede ko na po siyang close ayan po so ito na po siya sa testa okay po so makikita po natin na yung default template ng ating IPCRF tool ay ang sa para sa proficient teacher. So, marahil po na magtatanong ang ating mga highly proficient teacher, nasan po ang kanilang form. So, eto na rin po yung form na gagamitin. So, punta lang po tayo sa position. Okay, for example po, ay master teacher. Ayan, naging kulay blue na po siya. So, eto na po yung template niya. IPCR rating encoding form for master teacher 1 to 4 and SPET 5, highly proficient teacher. Okay po?